What's up, YouTube? Agent Zero here, and this is my countdown to Destiny 2. Now, in my countdown, I'm going to be going over some of my favorite aspects of Destiny and Destiny the Taken King. In this video, I'm going to be remembering the Hunter Night Stalker. Now, there are approximately 91 days left until Destiny 2 is released. But without further ado, let's get into some Night Stalker gameplay and why I enjoyed playing as the Hunter Night Stalker. Remember, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, peace! First, I have to mention that the strike you are witnessing actually has Void Burn. So if you notice that the enemies are melting easier than usual, that would be why. Anyway, let's get into the Hunter Night Stalker. The first thing I want to talk about is the bow and arrow. The shadow shot. For those of you who know me, know I love bow and arrows, and the Night Stalker is no different. The great thing about the Hunter's bow is that it's not only fun to shoot, but it is also great at helping teammates out. My friends and I like to call this the Orbs for Days class. With the right setup, both equipment and in the class itself, you can help your teammates easily get their supers by generating a ton of orbs with your Shadow Shot. On top of that, this class is great for crowd control and dealing massive amounts of damage to both hordes of enemies and bosses. I would say this is easily one of the best support classes in Destiny. A couple of items you may notice from this video that I'm using. First, my primary is the Bad Juju. The Bad Juju, for those of you who don't know, when you kill enemies, the weapon automatically reloads. So it's great to kill tethered targets who can't move out of the area, you can easily mow them down. The second you may notice is I'm using the Vortex Grenade. Again, another item paired with the Shadow Shot is great for killing those groups of enemies that are tethered together, dealing massive amounts of damage. Especially when it's Void Burn that you can see in this clip, the Vortex Grenade is just demolishing the Vex. So last but not least, let's talk about the melee. The melee of the Night Stalker can perform one of two purposes. You can either use Venom to deal damage to enemies, or you can turn yourself invisible in order to avoid damage from enemies, complete objectives, or help revive your teammates. Honestly, it depends on the game mode for which one I choose. It could also depend on your playstyle as to which one you choose. But if I'm playing in PvP, I'll go more the Venom route where I'm dealing more damage. If I'm in PvE though, I would rather go invisible so I can help revive my teammates or help complete objectives that you'll see in this echo chamber that we're going to head into. So tell me what you think of the Hunter Night Stalker class. Have you enjoyed using it as much as I have? I know this is one of my favorite subclasses in the game to use. What do you think of this class? Let me know what Destiny Remembering video you want to see next. We're counting down to Destiny. We're about three months away. I know I'm getting excited. So hopefully you enjoy the rest of this clip, Hunter Night Stalker gameplay. I know I make a dumb play here where I actually end up trying to kill this Hydra myself, and unfortunately it deals void damage. But when you guys are doing this, 
Don't go running out in the open against a Hydra that deals void damage when there's void burn. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of this clip. And until next time. Thanks everyone for tuning in. of mine.